every now and then there are horror movies that come along that everybody seems to hate, but you just seem to love. Texas Chainsaw stars Alexandria Daddario and is directed by John Lucenhop. What's up guys, I have been constantly getting questions as to when I'm gonna get back on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, series reviews. And finally, here we are. And I thought, you know what, I'll do this one like I did the Halloween series. Well, I started with the original, but I'll go backwards from there. I'll start with Texas Chainsaw 3D and just work my way back. Because, you know, it, it keeps it interesting for me. And actually, this is one that I've been looking forward to reviewing. So just to take you through the plot of this, uh, I love the opening of this movie, how it picks up right where the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre left off. And this is something that I believe has never been done before. Now, I don't remember uh, the second Texas Chainsaw Massacre that much, so I could be wrong on that. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But yeah, I like how this one just picks up right where the, the first one left off, and this is a direct sequel to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And really this scene, it sets up the story. It sets up the main point of this movie, uh, which involves this, this feud uh, between the Sawyers and the Hartmans. And this is a feud that was going on in the 70s, and it carries on to the present day. And we'll get to the problems of the present day and the timeline a little later. And the Sawyers, they were gonna come willingly, but the Hartmans, they just wanted to cut heads. They hated the Sawyers. Amongst all the fallout of this, uh, there was a baby, and the baby's name is Heather in the movie, played by Alexandria Daddario. So we fast forward to the present day, and Heather finds out that she inherits her grandmother's estate. And so she opts to, to go to New Texas and to take over this estate. And once she gets there, she realizes that she's not really wanted, and she finds out about this whole feud that was going on, and havoc ensues. And first off, let's talk about that timeline for a minute because this is one of the biggest complaints I hear about this movie, is that the character Heather should be played by a woman in her late 30s, maybe even 40, and Alexandria Daddario is not that. She is, you know, early 20s. I just watched this movie recently and I realized that if it wasn't for, I think, one or two scenes that had a cell phone, they could have gotten away with it. They could have said that this movie doesn't necessarily take place in the present day, but actually takes place in the 90s. And I, I st it still racks my brain to, as to why they didn't just opt to use a flashlight instead of a, a phone flashlight. That would have fixed the whole problem. But maybe they had bigger problems to deal with and they just they just completely forgot about that or they just didn't care. But this movie, like I said, it does get trashed quite a bit. And I remember the first time I watched it in the theater, I expected that. And then when I got done with it, I was like, I really had a good time with this. It, it was not to be taken too seriously. <laughs> but there was a lot of fun to be had. There was a lot of gore. And I like that the first half of this movie, it was more of your conventional slasher movie. Uh, and really like within the first, I'd say 45 minutes, we are really rolling. Leatherface is already out and he's killing people. And you're like, oh wow, it's still pretty early in the movie and it looks like this is like the final chase. But then the second half, it's really cool. It takes the story in a different direction. And this is where Heather is at the police station. But then she starts reading through all the newspapers and learns about the feud between the Sawyers and the Hartmans. And she realizes that she might not be that safe. She's not really wanted in this town. And another thing I really enjoy about this aspect of the film is that it makes the good guys bad and it makes the bad guys good. Leatherface, because of his nature, he is, he's got the mind of an eight year old. And really, he just wants to be left alone. I mentioned this in my first Texas Chainsaw review. And of course, all these strangers come into the house and Leatherface is not having it and Leatherface is crazy. But this movie begs the question, is Leatherface really evil or is he just a child? And I also like how Heather's character, she starts getting a little bit crazy because the Sawyers are known for that. They're not really stable people and she has a, a little bit of Sawyer in her and that comes out of her character and I really enjoyed that aspect of the movie. 
Also, I love that there are so many winks and nods to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. First off, you got Marilyn Burns that actually plays the grandmother. Uh, then you see the iconic red shorts. Also, we see the main characters are in a van that is somewhat similar to the original. And we also see the, the armadillo on the road. I mean, really, this movie was winking right and left to the original, and I thought that was just cool. And we all know that Leatherface is inspired by uh, Ed Gein. There is a scene in this where Leatherface, he digs up his mother, and that was very similar to what Ed Gein did. He had this weird relationship with his mother, and that aspect actually inspired the film Psycho. So it's kind of like we come full circle uh, with that, that part of the movie. Also, the kills are really cool in this movie. If you want Carnage candy, there is tons of it in Texas Chainsaw 3D. And I would recommend watching this in 3D because it just adds to the excitement. Blood is literally coming at your face. Chainsaws are literally coming at your face. And I think 3D and horror, they really go hand in hand. Uh, Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D, which I can't believe they still don't have a native 3D Blu-ray out. And also my Bloody Valentine 3D. I remember seeing that in the theater in 3D and it was just such a cool experience. Okay, now let's talk about the cons. Let's talk about uh, maybe some of the reasons why people didn't grasp this movie. I think one thing is Southern fried horror movies are for a select audience. There are some people that just don't really dig it. Myself included, there are some Southern horror movies that they don't really grab me. Uh, I've never been a huge fan of the Hatchet series, but for some reason I think there's just another aspect to Texas Chainsaw that just really connects with me, and I can't really put my finger on it. But if I tried to, I would say I think everybody can relate to just driving in the middle of nowhere in the south, and it's really, really hot, and then you come upon this just crazy family. You know, everybody has nightmares about that type of story, and that's what Texas Chainsaw, the series, is. Also, the characters, they aren't the strongest in this movie. It's really just slasher fodder. You don't really care about them, especially the ones in the beginning of the movie. But I do like the characters in the second half of the movie. I do like that whole feud aspect, and especially love the third act, when Heather's character starts kind of coming over to the Sawyer side and, and she gets a little bit crazy. And I must say, I really enjoyed Alexandra Daddario in this movie. In the end, guys, I'm gonna give this movie a purchase worthy. I have so much fun with Texas Chainsaw. I know a lot of people hate it. I know I'm probably gonna get flamed in the comments, but you know what? I think we all have uh, one or two guilty pleasure horror movies. And you know what? I stand by that. I, I love this movie, I always have a great time when I watch it. And like I said, I would recommend watching it in 3D if you can. So anyway guys, that is my review for Texas Chainsaw. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Also make sure you join the Killer Flicks Facebook group where we talk horror all day, every day. Like, subscribe, and comment. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd, and drum them out.